As a new variant climbs in other countries and immunity wanes in the U.S., health officials say people shouldn't completely abandon COVID-19 precautions. Medical reporter Liz Bonas shares what's circulating the globe. Hey there, everybody. It is hard to believe, but infectious disease specialists say three years after the start of this pandemic, you may not want to toss the mask just yet. For most healthy people infected now with COVID-19, your symptoms are likely to be similar to Tom Lang's. It, it felt like uh, kind of a miserable cold for about five days, and then ever since then, I've been fine. And with this, Johns Hopkins International COVID-19 tracker expected to go dark in March. There are signs the pandemic is on the decline. It's probably coming down very slowly, but not dramatically so. Before you permanently ditch the mask, however, infectious disease specialist Dr. Stephen Blatt of Ohio's TriHealth says there's three reasons to reconsider. The first is that new Orthrus CH.1.1 subvariant. It's just under 2% of cases right now in the U.S., but data from Ohio State now shows it's responsible for as many as one in every four cases in the U.K. We often follow their trends. It appears to be better at resisting newer treatments and vaccines than some of the current XBB variants now on the rise. But the main concern about it is that it appears to have some properties on it that could make it behave like the Delta variant. The concern about Delta was it seemed like it was a little bit more severe than some of the uh, other variants like the, uh, uh, the COVID variants we've been dealing with for the last year. Second reason not to toss the mask is that immunity from the current vaccines only seems to last about three to four months. We really need to see what happens when uh, people who've been previously vaccinated um, come in contact with new strains and see what our current vaccines do against the new strains. Finally, third reason, while we do now have treatments to ease symptoms of COVID-19, We've all been burned by COVID in the past by thinking it's almost over and, and it comes back around. The vaccines and medications to treat COVID-19 for now are still free. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. Now back to you.